believe in your catchphrase. <gasps> Hello, Mother. Uh-huh. Oh, you found another perfect guy for me. Oh, and he's a doctor again. Wow. Well, I don't really think that that's a... Yeah, I actually have something going on on Friday, so I... A job? My... I... Can't hear you. Bring it. Give her, give her, see you, okay, bye, bye, bye. Pancakes. Good morning to you too. Hi. Right. How was your date last night? Um, what a great twist. And I love the detail on this gore. Yep. Read that one a few days ago. We get all the new issues before the muggles can buy them. Wow. Ugh. Eh, they didn't really click. I don't think I'll see her again. No. I'm sorry. Don't be sorry. I touched your boobs. Oh, good. I was worried for a second. Girls don't understand me. They never will. I'm like, a, I'm like an enigma, wrapped in a mystery, wrapped in a riddle, wrapped in a t-shirt. And dunked in cliche. I don't know. Oh, when I saw this girl's boobs, they weren't like regular boobs. They were like two weird, hard boobs. You know what I mean? They were like two hacky sacks. You're a terrible person. You know that? Mm. Mm. I need to film this vlog before I go to work. OK, let's do it. Let's do it. Sherlock Holmes, Captain Ahab, Rocket Robin Hood. What do they all have in common? Arch enemies. Exactly. They all have arch enemies. Moriarty, the whale, Rocket King John. And now I am amongst their ranks, for I have a nemesis. The Master, a highly skilled book thief who's been stealing books from rereading during my shifts over the past few weeks. This will not stand. What kind of pussy steals used books? Pussy. Pussy. Like no one's ever said pussy on the internet before. It's just an say, apt word. Just pussy. say baby. Guy, just say baby. It's gross. Pussy. What kind of baby steals from a used bookstore? It's like this guy doesn't have the self-confidence to steal from the mall. 13-year-olds steal from the mall for Do sure. not. Do not pity my nemesis. At least not yet. Not until I have dealt unto him swift and brutal justice. All I need now is a cunning plan. Why don't you just take your camera to the store and then film the store all day? That then way, I'll have you have one film. film. We said it at the same time, so we both came up with it. And it's a great idea! Yeah. I didn't tell Guy, but my job is kind of sort of on the line here. This thief has been stealing books during pretty much every single one of my shifts over the past few weeks. And my boss is getting really pissed. And he's a jovial guy. The problem is, I don't even know what this thief looks like. They're that good. Could be anyone. Could be her. Or him. Or him. 
Super professional manner. I didn't mean to frighten you. Oh, you didn't frighten me. How could I be frightened of someone so... Standard issue customer. Because you're a customer and I work here. What? How can I help you? Uh, I was wondering if you have the book Catching Fire. Oh, a Hunger Games fan. It's for my niece. Of course it is. Right this way. Like I said, it's for my niece. I'm not interested in children's books, and I certainly don't identify as being pro PETA. Because it's for your niece. Exactly. So you wouldn't mind me dropping the spoiler then that Katniss ends up with Gale after PETA is brutally torn apart by dogs? His last words being, Remember, I gave you the bread. No. no, not at all. That means nothing to me. Why would I care that poor Peta has only ever loved Katniss his entire life and has given everything for her? That doesn't happen. Thank God. Oh, here we are. Thanks. My niece will certainly wait to read that until she's ready to feel intensely emotional, mm -hmm. or until she has a shoulder to cry on. Oh, well, if your niece needs someone to call, I mean, I have a phone. Interesting, I bet that phone has a number. Indeed it does. Hey! Stop! No! Listen, you're in charge until I get back. Seriously? In the heat of the moment, that's pretty good. Now give me back my camera, scumbag. I need to make internet videos. Not those kinds of videos. Who steals used books anyways? Guys who spit in mouse. Huh? <laughs> Why did I call this <gasps> Come on, Soda Pop, work your magic. You? But... Hey. I'm so sorry. Here are the books and a check that should more than cover everything I've been stealing lately. Your friend, he caught up to me and we talked. My dad was never around. And I guess I just had to prove that I'm a man in my own right. I think I still have a lot of personal growth to do. You spit in my mouth. It's a long road. You hold on to that friend. He's kind understanding, smart, and has surprisingly strong arms. Me? I guess I'm gonna get out of here and find something I lost a really long time ago. Myself. Did that just happen?
A cute guy walks in, hits on me, and then melts the heart of my evil villain slash eternal nemesis all in the time it took me to buy a soda pop mouthwash. Okay, so he broke my nemesis and made him into a kitten of a man. So he's gorgeous and charming, but that doesn't mean that he's perfect, right? Hey, I'm sorry I couldn't stick around, but I have to get back to work. I think your thief problem should be all cleared up. He's actually a really great guy once you get to know him. Anyway, it was lovely to meet you. Oh, um, I gotta go. I hope to see you around. Pretty cool episode, and why is it cool? Only because we had Mark Mir, who is Commander Shepard in Mass Effect. Oh, it makes me so mad. Why? It makes me so mad that we're friends now. <laughs> Good personal friend of mine. He's a nice guy, and I was starstruck. We text all the time. Do you? No. Okay. I don't have a long distance plan on my phone. Two weeks from now, episode five is coming out. Yeah, and in one week we got a teaser for episode five. <gasps> Another tasty teaser. Yeah, with no spoilers. No spoilers. Someone is going to perish. In <laughs> you say that and every it will be week. One of us. A huge thank you to Rereading, which is an actual bookstore in Toronto on the Danforth used bookstore. Great bookstore. Val works at it. Toronto, Ontario, mm -hmm. Canada. You can go there. Freddie Rivas as the master in this episode. He spit mwah. in my mouth. Mwah, mwah, mwah. If you liked it, like it. If you want to comment. There's a thing that you can do to do that. It's called comment. Hello. <laughs> you know what I mean? Tell us what you thought. Tell us about your day. Yes. Tell us anything. Anything. Uh, if you're on social media, Facebook, Twitter, Tumblr. Google Plus. Google Plus. Uh, We're there. Check us out. Yeah. Check us out. Look at other pictures that you can see. Make us. sure that you're subscribing to uh, Versus Valerie and Sexy Nerd Girl. And check out sexynerdgirl.com. Yeah. So episodes come out every two weeks. But next week, oh. to tide you over, yeah. we got another insane. Teaser. Oh, that's hype. Yeah. Oh, that's hype. Girl. Yeah. Guys, I'm Adam Christie. This is Hannah Dog Pound Spear. Uh, you've been great. Thank you for watching. Thank you so much we'll for watching. We'll see you in two weeks. And we'll see you in two weeks. Bye. Bye. Uh, my mother set me up on another date tonight. So don't go. I have to. Otherwise, I'll never hear the end of it. it just sucks. Can't stop thinking about that guy that came into my store.